Yo, what's good with you on today's video? I tried making a Roblox game with ChatGPT. Honestly, I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it or not, but we're gonna try. So just to let y'all know, this is my first time really using ChatGPT. Like obviously I've heard about it. I've seen YouTube videos and stuff before with it, but this is really my first time actually using it. Like, like obviously I was practicing with it before I recorded the video, but I'm saying this is generally my first time using it. So honestly, I can tell that ChatGPT is able to like, it's able to make scripts, but at the same time, you have to have some scripting knowledge yourself to be able to really use the scripts that ChatGPT makes and use them in a game. Because usually you do have to modify things as of course ChatGPT isn't perfect as they're still testing it and stuff. So it's not perfect because there's a, there's hundreds of scripting languages and stuff out there. So I wouldn't expect it to be perfect, but it does pretty much write uh, scripts and the functions and stuff. It can detect when there's any issues and stuff, but yeah. So anyway, Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so this is my first time using ChatGPT to make a game. So I was like, let me go for a simple game. Like, I'm not gonna try to make something like crazy, like the strongest battlegrounds or like, I don't know, like a simulator or something, you know, just something, a simple little game where pretty much you have parts that spawn around you. And then when the parts spawn around you, you simply just click them you click them and you're trying to collect as many parts as you can and each part is worth like say like maybe a dollar and stuff and you're just trying to collect as many parts as possible so that at the end of the game or match whatever you want to call it you have the most parts collected or you could say the most cash and stuff so let's see if ChatGPT can do that all right so first thing first thing first of course we're gonna need leader stats you know because we're gonna need a cash we're gonna need you know where something to track cash so okay so let me talk to ChatGPT real quick. Can you create a Roblox script that sets up leader stats with cash? All right, let's let it think real quick. All right. Certainly below is an example and right here. And there we go. It just types the whole script out. Script has a leader stat folder for it. Mm -hmm. Just like I made in my other videos. There we go. All right. Let me copy this code over. I'm going to open up studio and head on over to my place. Really put together in a whole game. Right. So let me so let me first let me paste the script. It's the leader stat script. So it obviously would be a server script in server script service. OK, so create a function to initialize leaders. I like that. I like how it like it comments out everything like it, it puts comments. So not only is it making it for you, it's also explaining everything to you. Like to be real with y'all, y'all could really learn how to script from chat DBT, if I'm being honest with y'all. Like if y'all just asked it to explain things to you, it could definitely explain things. OK, so it creates the leader stats folder. OK, parents it to the player. And it makes a in oh, it makes it an int value. Oh, I mean, eh. I'm gonna change it to a number value, but it wouldn't really matter. Int value is the same thing. Okay, on um, player added. So when a player joins and add in the characters added, then it says okay, all right, function, all right, everything looks good. Let me go ahead and click play and let let's see what we're working with. In the top right, okay, there, all right, there we go, there we go. I have cash set up. All right, okay. There we go, leader stats and cash. Okay, all right. So far, ChatGPT one for one. All right. I'll go ahead and name the script leader stats. All right. Now for the second thing, I wanted to be able to like, I want to have a very simple game concept, right? For the first making a Roblox game with ChatGPT, I wanted it to be a very simple, nothing too complex, like sim like a simple thing. You know, you could just make a like a script or two in like ten minutes or something. So okay, so let me try. Can you make a script that? generates parts around the player and the parts are clickable once clicked they give the player um i guess plus one to their cash value all right let's see okay all right Cash value on a cash given to the part. Okay, all right. The distance between. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So far, it's looking good so far. Damn, no, this thing, it types, or well, not types, but like it generates very quickly. Like, this shit is really gonna, I'm not gonna lie, if they actually can perfect like ChatGPT, they could literally replace scripters because, yeah, no. Oh, let me delete that too. Yeah, y'all don't need to worry about that. But anyway, um. Okay, so I guess I just, where would I put the script? 
Add one. It usually tells you like script generates five. I'll place the script in a script or objects or Roblox. Okay. Mm, let me just start putting it in server script service and see how that works out. Okay. So the cache value distance from player on part clicked. Okay. So that's the function for that. This is the function that generates the parts. Okay. Player dot character. What triggers these functions? Oh, so when the player joins, it triggers it. Okay. Right. okay 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 everything looks good i haven't necessarily read through it all but i skimmed through it now let me see if i click play let's see what happens mm, mouse click okay see i was expecting an, an issue too because this is usually where they go wrong part okay all right so i need to click we need to create a uh, click detector okay so i'm gonna just put that right here i'm gonna create a click detector and put it inside so local click detector is equal to instance dot new click detector then I'm gonna parent it to the part and then instead of parts part dot click detector dot mouse click there we go okay now you can really use chat to make scripts but to be real with you if you don't have any like type of script prior scripting knowledge it will definitely be hard it would definitely be hard to uh kind of to, to do it now if you have like some type of knowledge and stuff definitely it'll make things simple okay so i'm clicking on them but nothing okay so it spawns the parts but nothing happens when i click them okay let's go back to the script okay so that means the f okay so generating the parts is good now it comes down to when you click the part okay so if player all right check if the part belongs to a player game to players get player get player from character part dot parent wait that that doesn't even make sense you know maybe chat dbt isn't that smart not gonna lie maybe chat dbt is not that smart that doesn't even make sense on part clicks so you trigger the function then you use the part what that literally doesn't even make sense okay so here you would have the player no you want to send over the player itself so you send over the player then this would be the player that's clicking on it then you would do game.players find first child player uh well sending over the player instance so yeah then if player then oh i get it now but i'd also need to send over the part so it destroys it okay okay so i can just do both all right so i'll send over the player first yeah okay now it's generating okay i'll send over the player first then send over the part itself so player part then destroy the part and then give the player the cash leader sets fine first child cash cash that value plus cash all right okay there we go i think it should work now let me click play I wish you could have customized the bricks a little more, like not just, you know, like just basic gray, like, you know, give it a little bit of color or whatever. All right, let's see. Mm, so still not working. Okay. Player correctly, then the issue. There we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. It disappears plus one cash. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then obviously I can modify the script. Um, this is the player in the other parts. Okay. I could definitely mo I moderate. I could definitely um, modify this to like make it like 30 yeah make it like 30 and then i'll just spawn around in a hole in a whole area and then you can probably have like kind of like a countdown but oh jesus christ oh yeah no they're all but yeah they're not spread out though where's the distance the size distance from player distance from player to the player in the center mm, okay 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 so yeah this is a simple little game you know you just walk around and then you just you click the parts you get cash for it it's pretty simple you probably have like a countdown timer I have like a countdown timer okay so i think i kind of want to change it now or at least i'm gonna try honestly if it doesn't work this is good enough chat dbt it's done decent so far so okay now let me see okay so um, let's say i want i wanted to let me think i wanted to now generate i wanted to generate parts upon players okay can you change the script to generate the parts one time or well not one time generate the parts once a certain amount of players certain amount of players are in the server in the server and whoever has the most parts is the most parts at the end of a countdown wins oh i should have said the most cash yes yeah, i said the most cash 
the most cash. Oh, it's not letting me do that. Oh, okay. It's thinking. It's thinking. Okay, there we go. Lows updated version of the script. Generates parts once a certain number of players and implements a countdown timer. Okay. It must really be confused. I'm not going to watch it. It must really be confused because it's moving a lot slower than it normally is. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, guys. It finally finished. It finally, I swear to God, that took like three to four minutes. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think it has like five functions in it. Okay. I'm going to update the script now. Let me make sure that I'm putting it. I can put it in server script service. I'm going to place the script in server service. Okay. All right. Let me put it, place it right here. Oh, let me select everything. Paste over it. Okay. So far, no errors. Let me see now. Okay. Actually, let me just test it. Well, Okay, so cash value, distance from player, parts count, the amount of parts, the number of parts to generate. Okay. So the minimum minimum number of players required to start generating parts. Okay. So you need two players. Okay, so you need a minimum of two players. Okay. Hmm. Let me change that to one simply just for the video. Let me change that one simply just for the video. I just want to see what I just want to see generally just do what it's supposed to do. Okay. Uh I'm done. What the f 60 seconds oh wait, i just realized oh no it's gonna take a hot minute not gonna lie part counts if game that player is minimum and not kind of active it's kind of active then you generate parts play, start countdown mm, for players parts yeah that's gonna take a while i'm gonna just change this i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna just change the countdown to like five seconds because no 60 seconds is kind of crazy not gonna lie well an actual game i mean i guess but 30 seconds would kind of make more sense okay it should start any second now okay no one what the fuck oh i'm tripping i'm tripping, tripping that's the duration i think no winner wait i'm so confused it, it didn't even spawn the part it didn't even spawn the parts what the fuck it didn't even spawn the parts um a number of players minimum and not count on the start countdown start countdown countdown look true for play parts max parts okay what about the generating parts parts clickable part of it okay it did this wrong okay all right nah i'm in the video here i'm in the video here not gonna lie okay so i tried to make a game well not a, like a whole game just try to make something simple like a round based type of thing with chat gpt and honestly my thoughts on chat gpt i think honestly chat gpt is very it's very useful it's definitely very useful especially for like experienced scriptures and stuff when it's like there are things that we have to like you know type that like we know how we know obviously what needs to be on the script but it's you know it's a pain to type like setting up leader stats for example with leader stats with like auto saving i've typed that script probably like so many times i know how to do it and stuff but it's just like it's damn near like 80 to 100 lines so it's like to have to retype that so if i could really just ask chat gpt and then just do it for me that would definitely be help helpful so i would say chat gpt is definitely is useful for if you're an experienced scripter you just generally want some help or if you're just if you're stuck on a script definitely like if you're trying to figure something out there's a there's an issue with your script but it's not there's no error in the output i would definitely recommend probably asking chat gpt like just paste the script and just say what's the issue uh, or just say um this is the error it's giving me and chat gpt should be able i think it should be able to like for most basic errors and stuff advanced errors maybe i'm not sure and stuff but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I try my best. If you guys want to see another chat GPT video where I try to make a Roblox game, just let me know. And if y'all want like specific, like make, want me to try to make a specific type of game with chat GPT, just let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe if, if you enjoy. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support y'all been showing me. I'm at like 1,072 now. Like I literally got like 12 subscribers and it's only like, it's only four o'clock right now. And oh, well, I know this is kind of late, but happy 4th of July to y'all. Because I'm recording this on 4th of July, so happy 4th of July to anyone who celebrates it and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to join my Discord or Roblox group, the link is in the description, as well as you can become a channel member and get access to all my scripts and everything. Um, I won't have I won't save the script because there's not really a point since I just generated this chat DMT, but you know my other scripts and stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.